No one expected us to be holding these European elections, but the government's complete failure on Brexit means they're going ahead against a backdrop of division and of frustration. A vote for Labour is a vote to bring our divided country back together. Labour is the only party with a plan to unite our country and make it work for the many, not the few. We will end austerity, invest in our economy and our communities, and raise wages and living standards. Labour's alternative plan for Brexit, which protects jobs, living standards and communities, would end the chaos caused by the Conservatives. <laughs> Labour agreed to talks because we believed it was the right thing to do, to see if we could get a better deal in line with our plan. The needs of businesses and trade unions, a deal that would see us leave the EU but keep a close relationship with our major trading partners. So far, in those talks, there's been no big offer and the red lines remain in place. It's actually quite difficult negotiating with a disintegrating government, with cabinet ministers jockeying for succession rather than working for an agreement. It is in the country's interest to try to get this sorted one way or the other. But we can never accept the government's bad deal or a disastrous no deal. So, if we can't get a sensible deal along the lines of our alternative plan or a general election, Labour backs the option of a public vote on it. We hope they'll take it seriously. We're pushing for the government to recognise that it's in their interest and the country's interest. We have a people's vote with the option to remain closed down the issue rather than this European election which wouldn't resolve any problems. We are moving into a new politics. The Tory party, the Labour Party in a terrible state, potentially disintegrating, potentially. And if that happens, we need a new centrist, liberal, social democratic, moderate force and parties working together which we're all doing today.